Welcome to Algebra 1. The learning goal for this episode is to learn the patterns of the following special products. The quantity a plus b squared, the quantity a minus b squared, and the quantity a plus b times the quantity a minus b. Then we'll learn to go in reverse and factor the special products back into the factors. Let's take a look at the patterns of these special products. For the quantity a plus b squared, when we multiply it out we always get a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared. It's always the first term squared plus 2 times the first term times the second term plus the second term squared. For the quantity a minus b squared it's the same except the middle term is negative. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So the first term squared minus 2 times the first term times the second term plus the second term squared. There's a third special product, sum and difference. If we have the quantity a plus b times the quantity a minus b, it will always work out to be a squared minus b squared, the first term squared minus the second term squared. Let's look at some examples. We want to find the product quantity x plus 4 squared. We already know how to do this using the distributive property. It's perfectly fine to use the distributive property to simplify this, but if we learn the pattern, we can make this easier. So, x is my first term and 4 is my second. So I square my first term, x, take 2 times my x times my 4 and then square the 4. This gives me the same answer as distributing x squared plus 8x plus 16 but just gives it to us a little bit quicker and easier. Let's try another one. This time notice that it's c minus 5 not plus quantity squared. So I take c squared minus 2 times c times 5 plus 5 squared which gives me c squared minus 10c plus 25. Notice that you don't have to write out the intermediate steps if you don't need to. If you can do the multiplication in your head you can go straight to the answer. In this case if you can double 5 in your head you should be able to go straight to c squared minus 10c plus 25. Now let's look at those two in reverse start with the product and figure out the factors. We can factor these trinomials using the Xbox method that we've already learned and that works perfectly fine. But if we recognize these as perfect squares of binomials we can factor them a little faster. So if we recognize that we have two perfect square terms and that the middle term is twice their product then we know we have a binomial squared. So on the first one we notice we have x squared and 4 squared and the middle is double 4x. On the second one we have c squared and 5 squared and the middle is double 5c. Since the middle term is negative our binomial will have a subtraction sign in it. Let's square another binomial but this one has a coefficient in front of the variable. But it works just the same way. I'm going to square the first term, do twice the product for the middle term and then square the last term. So I get 9x squared plus 24x plus 16. Let's go right to factoring so we can see the connection. Look at that for a few seconds to see the relationship between the product and the factors. Another example, this time with coefficients and variables in both terms, but it works the same way. We're going to square the first term, do twice the product in the middle, and then square the last term. We get this for our product. Again, let's immediately go in reverse and factor it just to see how we can go back and forth. Example 6 is a little different. It's not a square of a binomial, rather it's a sum and difference product. Again, we could always use the distributed property to multiply this out. Nothing wrong with that. But if we recognize the pattern a quantity a plus b times the quantity a minus b, then we can get to our answer more easily. It's simply going to be x squared minus 4 squared or x squared minus 16. Same answer as that we got with the distributive property, but if you recognize the pattern you can jump right to the answer. So let's look at this example. It's a sum and difference problem. So I take the first term, 5x, and square it. And then I take the second term, 2, and square it. Then I write it as a difference, 25x squared minus 4. Again, if we want, we can immediately turn this around and do it in reverse, start with the product, and work back to the factors. So if I recognize the pattern, I can notice that these are a difference of squares, which means my original binomials were a sum and difference. Now for our guided practice section. 
we're going to work through some problems together. You do not need to write down these problems, just step through them with me. At each step, I'm going to prompt you the question you should be asking yourself. Then I'll pause for about five seconds for you to think about it and answer it for yourself. Then I'll show you. So our first question is, what are we trying to do here? What we're trying to do is find the product. In this case, the square of the quantity x minus 8. How do we do that? We follow our pattern. The first term is squared, then twice the product of the first term and the second term, and then the second term is squared. Now what? Now we simplify our and get our product. We're done. Let's try another one. What do we do first? Again, we follow our pattern. First term squared, twice the product of the first term and the second term, and the second term squared. Now what? Now we simplify. This is our final answer. What do we do first on this one? We hopefully recognize it as a sum and difference problem. So now what? For a sum and difference problem, we take the first term squared and the second term squared, then subtract them. Then what? Then we simplify. What are we trying to do here? On this one, we're starting with the product and trying to factor it. So what do we do first? We hopefully recognize the pattern as something squared something else squared, and the middle term being twice the product of those two somethings. So then what? So then we figure out what those somethings are, in this case x and 9. Are we done? No, now we need to write our factors. In this case it's the quantity x minus 9 squared. Here's another factoring problem. What pattern is it? This is a difference of squares. So now what? So now we figure out what we squared to get this, in this case, x and 9. What's next? Now we write it as a sum and difference. We factored it, so we're finished. Now for the self-check section. In this section, you're going to physically pause the video as you work out the problem on paper in your notebook. Then you'll press play to check to see how you did. You'll have five seconds to pause the video after I stop speaking before I show you the solution. Please pause the video now and work out the problem, then press play to check. Here is the solution. Please compare this to your work. Pause the video here if you need more time to compare, then press play again to move to the next problem. Same thing in this problem. Pause the video, write it down in your notebook, then press play to check. Please pause the video now. Here's the solution. Again, pause the video if you need more time to compare this to your work. Same thing on this problem. Pause the video, write down and work it out in your notebook, then press play to check. Please pause the video now. Here's the solution. Again, pause the video if you need more time. Same thing on this one. Pause the video, write down this problem and work it out in your notebook, then press play to check. Please pause the video now. Here's the solution. Again, pause the video if you need more time to compare this to your work. In closing, let's review our learning goal. We wanted to learn the patterns of the following special products. The quantity a plus b squared, the quantity a minus b squared, and the quantity a plus b times the quantity a minus b. Then we also wanted to go in reverse and recognize the pattern in the product and factor it. We did this by discovering the patterns and practicing implementing them. We then worked in reverse to factor them so that we could see the relationship between the special products and its factors.